Tonight on Big Brother, Andy casts a spell on Gordon and judgment on the fire task. Failure will result in the budget being reduced to $67. Oh. Keeping the fire burning night and day has played havoc with the housemate's sleeping patterns. Sarah Marie is wide awake and she's making sure the others are too. The flames need to burn for another 12 hours, so the overnight vigil continues. Sarah Marie. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She gets up. I don't words to her. Did she think she was hilarious? Oh, she thought she was cracking herself up. She's going off. And then there's, there's, there's Johnny came in and started teasing her. Making it work. Did you make yourself a cup of tea? Yeah. I thought Johnny went to bed before, wasn't it? You want a coffee? You're evil. You're so evil. No, Johnny went to bed way after her. But then came in and proceeded to have a big old yarn and a giggle. I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate it if we go in there now and start yelling and screaming at the top of our voices. probably get up and join you and tell you the truth. Sure. Hey, Sarah. After this whole thing's over, we've so got to clean the boys up. I know. I was just mentioning yesterday that it looks like a youth hostel in Byron <sighs> Bay or something, you know? Youth just hostel. Just a hostel. Yeah. In Byron Bay. Which is nice. But yeah, I mean, they're temporary, so they're not always Are you temporary. a bit of a clean freak? Sorry? Are you a bit of a no, neat? No, I'm not pedantic, but I do... I mean, like, at home, my room's a sty, but that's my own space. Yeah. But I like to keep everywhere else clean because that's, like, a shared environment. Yeah. But if I was to be pedantic, the areas that I like to be clean is the bathroom, toilet and the kitchen. Yeah. Just those areas. Other than that, I'm, I'm easy, you know? I'm pretty clean. Mm. Generally speaking. I see you and I doing the washing up all the time. <laughs> it just makes me feel messy if I see it. Yeah, just it. hanging around. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, but I mean, I don't mind too much because everyone does their bit and... Yeah. What else would I be doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Gives you something to do and... Exactly, it definitely You feel does. useful and you're contributing and... Yeah, it does give you something to do. Shana has been up all night watching the fire. She's overslept. Now, there's no hot water. The three nominees, Gordon, Andy and Sarah Marie, have isolated themselves from the others, well aware that these could be their last days together. Yeah, and then I jumped into bed with Peter and um, Christina Ballerina. A couple of seconds, Christina Ballerina spun out about my boobs, so she's going, oh, don't get them near me. Oh, my gosh. Ballerina girl. What? <laughs> I've never felt good fun. I've never felt boobs my swept across my body like that before. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Mm -hmm. I've never had boobs swept across my body like that. <laughs> oh, and I told them the story about my uh, McDonald's drive through experience. Which one? My nipple one. No, I didn't hear that. Oh, you did too. Oh, it was man. so funny. I was a tos, and this is a true story. One of, when after work one night, me and two of the dancers, um, Brittany was one of them, I remember. We'll go to the McDonald's drive through and this little dorky guy was serving us at the window. So I, I had a real booby top on, and I lifted out my nipple just like that. And um, I go, hi, can I please have my... I just ordered normal. My nipple's hanging out just a little bit. And, I was, and he's like... And he's going to go, can I please have three McMuffin meals? And he's like, you want three, three McMuffin meals? I said, yeah, that'd be great, thanks. And it's like this, and the girl is... Anyway, he brings up the McMuffin meals and he forgot my coffee. He said, you forgot my coffee. He goes, you want coffee? I said, yes, please. And he brings it over and said, can I have some sugar? And he goes, you want some sugar in your coffee? And I'm like, my baby's hanging out. And he could not believe that I didn't know that my nipple was hanging out. 
He was just freaking out. It was you? so funny. This poor guy was shaking. He was he's handing me the tray of coffee. Mm, so oh, it was. And when we drove off, oh, we had to stop. I couldn't even drive. I was laughing that much. <laughs> Can you imagine him? Oh, you should have seen this chick. Her nipples was hanging out. She didn't even know. Can you imagine him like telling all his mates like he's a young dorky guy? It was so poor bugger. It was so funny, but. Um, If you wish to vote Sarah Marie out of the house, ring 1902 555 For viewers wanting to vote Gordon out, ring 1902 555 And finally, if you wish to vote Andy out of the Big Brother house, ring 1902 555-012. You can commence voting right now. Please note, call costs of 55 cents including GST and voting ends 7.45pm Eastern Standard Time next Sunday, 6th of May, when final results will be released and Big Brother Brother's first eviction will take place live on 10. Next on Big Brother, a close shave for Gordon. The Big Brother cameras lurk behind 30 two-way mirrors, strategically positioned around the house. It's the housemate's job to keep them clean. There's nothing funnier, I reckon, than coming out and just seeing... In the outside world, Christina isn't just yeah. a ballerina. She also does comedy. Well, the best part is doing the research. Is that? <laughs> yeah, getting out all the videos, watching everyone do stand-up, yeah. going to clubs and watching it. I love it. Well, what would you, what would you say is part of your research? Like, um, apart from, I mean, seeing, you know, you go on and checking it out. Just seeing what works and what doesn't work okay. when other people What's, get up. I mean, there's criteria that you'd sort of go... There are definite rules. Yeah, is there? Yeah. Like what? Like, never do jokes about AIDS or cancer. Okay. And people do, and but it people just do. dies. Yeah, you're right. It's wrong. Yeah. Um, what are the other rules I know? That's the number one rule. Yeah, you're right. Someone told me not to do boyfriend jokes, but they're so easy. I don't oh, they're great. Not. Well, people can relate. Yeah. Well, a comedian told you not to, or...? Yeah. Anyone can relate to that, for sure. And I try and balance it by doing girl jokes as well. Yeah, right. Cool. Gordon's hairstyle also needs regular maintenance, and Gemma is happy to provide oh, it. It just clogs the razors up a lot quicker. I mean, it's fine, but just, you just have to end up washing the blades every, like, second stroke. And... Yeah. Andy has two things on her mind. Man. Gordon and possible eviction. Like, and a, a surprise assessment yeah. of Christina's Peter. I definitely want to do something, but I think I have to take my time, which is, I don't really have too much time, but I just don't know, you know? It's like, yeah, it's like 60% chance of one of us getting kicked off. Do you go against the direction of the hair? Or? Uh, against, I think. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Or against well, it's better off going forward to begin yeah. with, and then I can go against to get the one. Yeah. Because it's still a bit long. Yeah. I don't want to rip you. The pressure is just going. I just get really, really sad. Like if I leave, I leave, you know? Then I'm out there, I'm with my husband, whatever. But if he gets kicked out, I'm going to be here in the house without. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna feel like. I know it's gonna be. Oh. That looks cool like that actually. Yeah, I work like that sometimes. I kind of like, kind of just spike it up and just pull it forward so it all starts hitting towards the front. I'm not about to have anything with Johnny. No. <laughs> I'm not about to have anything with Ben. That doesn't really turn me on. Yeah. I know Todd's gonna be straight as. Maybe Pete, but it's kind of like... It, it doesn't really turn me on that much. It'd be more like a affectionate sort of thing. Yeah. And that'd be it. Who else? That's it. That's fine too. God, you're getting good. It's not good. Fabulous. Let me just. Can you stand up for a sec? Yeah, all got pain all over them. Good, thanks. <laughs> I was going to give you a seat back. I think you should give me a message for me plucking you. I will, not today though. I don't feel very well. You do so. Oh, I don't, seriously. I think I've got a temperature. What's wrong with you? I don't know. In what way? Is he going to vomit or annoy no, you? No, I've got a, a, a 
um, a headache right at the front. But is it the yeah. headache you've been having for no. a while? No, because they've always just been down there. Have you there. been drinking lots of water? That's why you're just dehydrated. No, it feels weird. Drink feel, lots of water. I feel hot as well. I know, but drink lots I'm of water. I'm standing next to a fire, I know. <laughs> drink yeah, lots of water. No, I feel... You have to drink lots of water. And you are hot. After the break, did Sarah Marie's fire mistake cost the house most of its budget? The margin between success and failure was very minimal. Lock and load, mate. Give him a tot. Lock and load. Yeah. How you feeling, Pete? How you feeling? What's the matter with him? He's feeling a bit crook. How you feeling? What's the matter with him? Oh, my God. You got the squirts? Hey, you got the squirts? No, 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 I got the flu. Oh, really? I think, yeah, he's got aches and pains. Oh. Really get some cold. medicine? Did you go and ask for some med? Yeah. You got a headache? A little bit, but I've just got aches and pains all over my body. Yeah, we don't give a damn next to me. I'm going to sleep with you. <laughs> Whose guy is it? Yours. Yeah, I know you're going to be picking up. So obviously I'm just... <laughs> Where's the rest of the deck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The housemates gather for Big Brother's announcement of whether or not they succeeded with the fire task. Housemates, this week's task is now officially over. I'd like to take to this opportunity to remind you that you chose to bet 75% of next week's shopping budget on this task. <laughs> Failure will result in the budget being reduced to $67. Oh, well, success. Success will increase it to $458. On Tuesday night, it seemed that perhaps only one housemate was left at the fire site. <laughs> Sarah Marie clearly stepped out the side of the fenced off area. Luckily, she stopped within eight feet of the fire. <laughs> As some housemates have observed, the fence had been incorrectly erected. Yes! Congratulations. Yes! Three days, Sarah Marie has been worrying that she let the house down. Now, she's letting her hair down. Oh my God, I'm so happy! I need a towel. Can't believe how happy I am. And the next, the next task, it could be anyone who Oh, what's she doing? Uh, you would have been okay. We would I don't have been down with you. Where's the volleyball? Where's the volleyball then? Oh Would you tell me I've got a push? Huh? Would you tell you? I'm trying to save this little animal. I'm trying to save this little animal. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's flu symptoms have gone from bad to worse. He's ready for a rare early night. Mm -hmm. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Cheers.
Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Reek you out with garlic and stuff. It's all right. <sighs> Poor sick boy. Mm. Should be okay. Go what have you had? Echinacea, vitamin C, and that book, uh, and those things, golden food tablets. Finally. Gordon is ready to open his arms to Andy. After dinner, the housemates play a game of truth and lies. <laughs> We're no all jumping. Johnny. No, I can't tell. All right. I was once a police officer in training. I, yeah, number one. I once... <laughs> I once had... Was a construction worker or I once was an Indian? <laughs> I once... I once... Wow. Nice one, nice one. Oh. Oh. Nice one. I... I've had a cup of coffee with Kylie Minogue in my apartment, wearing nothing but a towel. What? She was or you were? I was wearing a towel. I go Kylie. Yeah. I got one. I'll go Kylie. I'll go Kylie. So we got yeah, police and Kylie. Kylie. Yeah, no one's I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. One. One. Yeah. It's definitely and Kylie. And the answer is probably two. Wait, 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 I reckon it's two. I'm gonna go one. <laughs> the winner is. I've got to get Kylie Minogue. Yeah. 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 Um, Tell us I was living in an apartment in Bondi, and the apartment above us was rented out. It was a very an exclusive apartment, and my flatmate, who I happened to be living with at the time, was had once been her lawyer and we saw her down on the beach and she came and had coffee with us and oh, I was getting out of the shower Kyle's. as she was coming into the apartment and having Kylie. coffee. Jeez. I'm in love yeah. with Kylie. That's a good one. That's a good one. Alright, I've got you mine. Alright, Blair. Alright, mine's, mine's a lot more personal. Alright. I'm a converted homosexual. <laughs> Number one. Uh, I... <laughs> was abused as a child or I'm a reformed drug addict. Number two, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Mm, I was thinking number last, two as last well. Last night's discussion around the fire, number two. A reformed homosexual. <laughs> no, a converted. Converted. Yeah. Reformed drug addict. Drug addict. No, he's too young for a drug addict. Number two. Yeah. I think number two. Drug addict. <laughs> my gaydar, my, I don't know, my gaydar's kind of go, maybe, gaydar. maybe the right. <laughs> if you've got a <laughs> leaving, <laughs> voluntarily <laughs> bleh, leaving. Right, so it's not number one then. No. No, no, number, no, no. number two. Number two. Am I that transparent, am I? <laughs> well done, people. Very What's impressed. That? All right. Very impressed. What's number two? Very impressed. I'll be as a kid. <sighs> sorry to hear that, mate. No, 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 no. No, sorry, Dean. Oh. My is Finally, real. Gordon is ready to open his arms to Andy. Mm. I like this in the style. It's nice. <laughs> There's a couple of bits that, are, that didn't get shaved. There's a couple of little little prickles and stuff. You can see where my hair some head sunburnt where there's less hair. It's so funny. And at the back there has a little bald patch. So funny. Eh? It is nice. Did you put that's like weird. cream on it or something? No. It's weird, eh? You should put some moisturizer. Yeah, I'll put some sunscreen lotion on tomorrow. Feels really nice. Mm. Mm. It's a dust. <laughs> so you're gonna give me a massage tonight? <laughs> Only if I apologise to your husband. <laughs> sure. For the second night in a row, Andy's ended up sleeping next to Gordon. And for the second night in a row, he's not interested.
Andy decides to try to weave some special magic. Into the fire, a lock of hair. A quick prayer, and the spell is cast. Hi, Timbo here. Get all the goss from the Big Brother house with regular updates on Triple M or read about it in the Herald Sun. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.